What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a zoom in and zoom out transition in Vegas Pro 15. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15, we have the same two clips you saw at the start, two waves, one at a longer distance, one at an up close distance. So this is exactly what you need to do, split it in the middle, and from there you're going to go back five keyframes. So you press the left arrow key five times, one, two, three, four, five. From there, press S on your keyboard to split it. Then we come to the clip on the right and we go across five keyframes. So this time the right arrow on your keyboard. So one, two, three, four, five, S on your keyboard. So these two clips now are going to make the effect. And the first one we're gonna be making is the zooming in transition. So on the very first clip here on the left, we're going to come to the pan and crop. Now from here, I recommend having sync cursor highlighted. I also recommend having lock aspect ratio and size about center checked. Now I have enable snapping, but I'm gonna turn that off. It's optional if you want it. Now what you're gonna do is drag the cursor here all the way across to the end. So we're gonna be on the last keyframe. And all we're gonna do is simply zoom in like this. And from there, we can right click this last keyframe and as you can see, we get different types of options. Now for me, I'm gonna make this one fast and I'm gonna X out of it. I'm then gonna come over to the next clip, do the pan and crop. And this time on the very first frame, I'm going to come across and we're only gonna be zooming in a little bit like this. It depends how much of your video you can sacrifice. You can see mine is just waves, so I can sacrifice quite a lot. Um, but everything inside this a rectangle is going to be shown everything outside of it won't be so just keep that in mind I'm gonna keep mine there I'm gonna change this last keyframe here to slow now that is done except there's one more thing so you'll notice if I play it through this is what we currently have now you may or may not have caught that but right there so it zoomed in pretty nice the transition was nice but when we get to the next video you can see right there, it jumps back like that. So what you do on the second clip, come to the pan and crop, right click your last frame and select copy. From there, we come to the pan and crop on the right clip, right here, and we right click the first keyframe and select paste. Now what this will do is make it all completely smooth, just like that. And now I'm gonna be showing you how to do it the other way, which is zooming out. So I have this set up already. This time uh, we're gonna be starting inside the waves. So again, coming to the center is the exact same steps. Coming back five frames. One, two, three, four, five. S on your keyboard. And then for the clip on the right, we're gonna go forward five frames. One, two, three, four, five. S on your keyboard again. So um, this time what we're going to be doing is zooming out, of course. So this clip on the left, we're actually gonna be starting zoomed in. So come to the pan and crop and come to the very first frame and simply zoom this in just a touch and then right click and select copy. Then this middle clip here, which is the same as the left, come to the pan and crop on the very first frame, right click and select paste. Now we're going to come all the way across to the end and all we're going to do is select right click and restore. Again, for the last frame here, I'm gonna change this to fast. From there, I'm gonna X out of it and we can begin working on the next clip. So this time, pan and crop again, and I'm gonna be zooming in a lot more. So here. Then this time, I'm gonna to come to the end. I'm gonna right click, restore, change this keyframe to slow. Now I'm gonna X out of it. Uh, the last video up here, we don't have to change because we just set it back to the restore. So playing it through, you can see that is now what we create. It's really nice and smooth, just like that. That's how you can create the zoom out or the zoom in transition. Now you'll notice here um, on these parts, I always left five frames. It's completely optional. If you want it to last longer and make it look really slow motion, then by all means go to 10 frames, 20 frames. It's optional, you can experiment. Um, ideally, I do recommend uh, from maximum six and lowest as three. Otherwise, if you go below three, it's super, super fast and it doesn't look very good. However, I will leave it up to you. You experiment with the settings you want to use. 
but that's how simple it is to create a zoom out and a zoom in transition in Vegas Pro 15.